Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be using my brand new Instant Pot, which I received from QVC. So, for the very first time, we're going to be making steak and gravy in it, so stay tuned. mushrooms in there. I have my seasoning flour, a little salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. You can put whatever type of seasoning you like in it. I'm just going with the very basic. Just use enough. You want to make sure that we have the coat the meat. Brown a little bit. And the flour also helps to act as a little bit of a thickening. That's a little bit more because I really want it. So I browned all the steak. Now what I want to do is I want to pour in, I'm going to be using beer, and I want um, to take and loosen up all that good stuff that's there on the bottom. That way it'll, it can uh, make a nice broth and gravy out of it. I'm using beer, but you could use wine, you could use broth, you could use water, just about anything really that, that you happen to like. Add this in. Okay. Let's stir this around a little bit to loosen everything up. Before I put my steak back in there. I want to add the onion soup mix. I'm just using um, regular onion soup, but you can get onion soup with mushrooms or beef flavored. Whatever your preference. I'm going to put that in next so this way I can let it dissolve a little bit. Of course I'm going to pour all that nice juice right back in there. And I just want to add the onions and mushrooms. Put them back in there as well. things in there so I'm going to take and put the lid on it we're going to get it to get this all set now okay so it's now it's all done so what I want to do I want to take the meat out so this way I can thicken the the juice a little bit 
you could leave it like this and have it if you like, but we like ours just a little bit thick, so it's a little bit more like gravy. Oops. Nope, there you go. You can see how tender it is it's falling apart. I don't know if there's gonna it be It smells really great. Too many big pieces in there. It might be all little pieces I'm breaking apart there. And I'm gonna stir this into the hot liquid. In. Let's just mix this around. I'm actually going to put this on saute just so that will heat it up a little bit. Yeah. So this way we can um, it can help thicken it up now. As you can see, it's getting a little bit thicker, but we just want it a little bit more like gravy. That's our preference. All right. So here we have it's all done. The steak. I have my gravy. Have our steak here. Now I'm gonna add some on a dish. I'm gonna try some for you. Get it right here. I actually put this with mashed potatoes, so go nicely with that gravy. No. Mm. I mean, it's so tender, moist, and juicy. Beer gives it a nice, rich flavor. And I love the, mun the, the mushrooms and the onions in it. It really adds nice texture and also contributes to the flavor too. Mm, so tender. I think you're going to really enjoy doing making this recipe. So you should give it a try and let me know what you think.